I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, uh, There's something in my desk. Uh, it's not mine, but uh, maybe someone could take a little look in there. <clears throat> Time to go talk to the new girl. I can tell she's gonna be hopeless without me. I don't think she's that bad. Here are the expense reports for Corey's show. Can you give them to Imogen? Oh, okay. Oh, and can you fill them out for me? Of course. Great, thanks. Waffle irons. Hi. I'm sure you remember me. I'm Summer. Hi, yes. Hi. Listen, there's something in my desk that I think- Hey, I wanted to show this to you. So this is Imogen's coffee order. This is Corey's coffee order and this. That's my coffee order. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, don't we have the same job? <laughs> You're so cute. Now, let's try this picture thing again, shall we? Now, if that doesn't get at least 200 likes, I'm getting a new phone. It's not the phone. Are you always this annoying, or is it only when you're talking? And that's Summer being Summer. Her mind wandered once and never came back. I'm Xander. Well, actually, the etymology of my name is Alexander. And you must be Lisa, because I researched you. <laughs> oh, um, but not in the creepy stalkerish kind of way. I'm the ombudsman around here, and has turned me into quite the sleuth. What can I say? Hmm? He's a creep. He stalks people on the internet for the Infraroot website. Oh, and it's not a disguise. He really does dress like a homeless person. Actually, the first story I'm pitching today is an investigative piece about how the countries that do well in the World Cup have a direct correlation to fascism. I'm talking Argentina, Uruguay, frickin' Italy, and Spain. It's a new era around here. Say goodbye to celebrity gossip and boring pieces centered around vain, superficial people. Superficial? What? That pastiche vest that you're wearing cost you over a hundred dollars. This is my grandfather's. Sweetie, I was with you when you bought it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Lisa, what talents do you bring us? She's my new assistant. Oh. <laughs> I'm the new production assistant. Summer, don't we have the same job? Not for long. After that embarrassing show that Corey put on, he's on his way out. It's only a matter of time before I'm put on the air. Add some much needed class to this place. Oh, uh, good for you. Uh, really. Uh, uh, l listen guys, there's something in my desk that I think you should see, cause, oh. Good morning. I know we usually don't hold meetings in the bullpen. However, Corey has something very important he'd like to share with all of you. This is about his love of technology report. A thoughtless editorial that in no way reflects the views and opinions of Infraroot and its sponsors. A degrading rhetoric that ignored the warnings of the senior staff and was in fact something he wrote all by himself. Isn't that right? Oh wait, we're doing this now? Like with them here, like in the same room? I have to like look at them. That's, I don't like that idea. I was just gonna like do like a like a shout out, like a follow Friday, hey, I'm sorry. I don't know, I just. So, before we proceed with our day <sighs> and the rest of Corey's career, Corey has a statement he would like to share with all of you. I would like to apologize for my crass and sensitive report that I was solely responsible for creating. I meant no offense or embarrassment to InfoRoot or any of you people. I was simply trying to highlight our over-reliance on technology using hyperbole. Hyperbole. Yeah, that's what I said. Hyperbole, right. If any of you, my colleagues, found this content objectionable, uh, that was not my intent, so please accept my sincere and heartfelt apology.
Okay, okay, we're good. Thank you, Gus. Oh. Does anybody have any questions or comments about Corey's sincere apology? Wait, that's it? Anybody important? No.